So I'm here with Sophia Tong. She's uh, playing this excellent game here at Namco Bandai. Oh, she's she's already gone into it. This is uh, obviously a light gun game. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. But uh, Sophia thinks she's not sure what she's doing. But she's very good. The game forces you to keep the gun holstered until it's time to shoot. Last time. Yeah, she did a little bit better last time. Here's, here's, here's the screen. But it has a fun ending when you do it well. Um, hopefully, we're gonna get a chance to see that here. Yeah, so bullets I have left. Yeah, Sophia needs enough bullets. But if you saw that there, she basically shot this coffee mug and it exploded into a million pieces. It didn't actually happen, it's a little bit of a trick with mirrors inside the machine. I'm not gonna get too far into it, but let's just say there are a bunch of mirrors down there fooling you. Alex thinks we're ruining the Oh, Alex says we're, that's Alex Asun Kobe back there. He thinks that we're, uh, we're ruining things. But we're gonna take a look at some other games. We're gonna follow Sophia, take a look around the Namco Bandai offices here and see what else there is to play. Oh, we found Chris Waters. Yeah. And we found Submarine. Zoom in Tell, action. Yeah, Submarine take a look at this. Submarine is awesome. I don't know if you can get up in here, but basically put your face in this little periscope job and can you see, it might be, it's a trick of the we eyes can, thing. It's a trick of perspective, see something all right? So basically there. you see those things moving. We'll try to reduce this glare, I don't know. But reducing the glare might be tough. Then you press, uh, press your button to fire a torpedo and it's that little streak that goes out. Oh, I see oh, that. You got lucky and hit someone. And basically, this looks almost like an old school shooting gallery because those. This is not. Oh, I totally nailed the big that was one! Quite yeah. nuclear. That's because I hit the one from downtown. Uh, hey, here, check. Look through this side over here because you can actually get a better view, maybe of possibly of us. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. But it's like a little shooting gallery. It's actually quite fun, although it is like many things in this country made for short people. Cosmo gangs. One of them is playing. Let's, uh, one of them is playing. I'm sorry, Sophia's playing. Let's take a look to see what's going on here. Come on, Koyori. Oh, wow. right. oh, these are truly gangs of cosmonauts. Ready? What's happening? Another light gun game because there are never enough. Here they come again. Shoot, shoot. Oh, they're taunting. Game over. How, how does that uh, ending make you feel, Sophia? What ending? The, the game's over. Oh, they're playing again. Oh, they're playing again. So here we go. Just keep going. Weeble wobble, the game begins again. that gamers will play almost anything. And now we're watching Alex play Tekken 3. And how are you faring, Alex? Fairly well. I'm um, uh, playing with six just a moment ago. And actually, same game. Something perhaps happy for Tekken fans, then? Yeah, uh, definitely a good thing. You heard it here first. Alex Sasun Kobe says Tekken 6 is just a shinier version of Tekken 3. Oh, with more characters. Oh, with more characters. Let's not be too harsh. Okay, we won't be too harsh. Not that Tekken 3 looks awful by any stretch, even in this day and age. Oh, shit. Gameplay is still solid, and Joey is still very pleasing to whack around the head. 
Oh, and speaking of which, Alpine Racer 2 has a couple of fans over here. First we have Sophia Tong showing us how it's done. Down the slopes. That's not how it's done, folks. Nice close-up of Sophia's feet. And moving right back up to the game screen. I have a feeling Chris Waters might be a little more comfortable with this. I've played it once before. I'm a snowboarder. How do I go crash? Don't crash. Words to live by. How to play Alpine Racer 2. Don't crash. Oh, I'm coming up behind you. Nice jump from Chris Waters. Sophia catching up. And boom! And just one last thing to note, we're not going to get a chance to go into any of these, at least for the time being, perhaps we can manage something later, but these are Gundam mobile suits pretty much. These are uh, little machines you can get in these pods and play a Gundam game. If that isn't rad, I don't know what is, although I don't know how claustrophobic these pods are going to feel if I get the chance to get in one. But um, definitely something to look forward to for later if we can manage it. Back to Sophia playing, well I'd call it whack-a-mole, but in fact this is whack-a-croc. And Sophia seems to be managing quite well. I'm guessing that a few visits to Chuck E. Cheese. I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. Well, I'm just saying, if you've been to Chuck E. Cheese before, I bet you there's a good chance you'll be good at this game. Thank you, Namco, for bringing us the very best that games have to offer in the form of crocodiles sticking their heads out so Sophia can bash them on the skulls. I think she might be getting a little frustrated. What makes you think that? Oh, no reason. Taking out all her frustration on these crocodiles. No, it's still going. You're up to uh, 74 hits. Oh, it's ended at 74. What's that? I don't know. It says 64. You lost 10. It's 74 minus 10. It's 64. I don't know what the. I don't know what they're taking away points for though. Maybe style. I I, I will say that you didn't show much style bashing on those heads. 